We now need to add a solid colored background to double check the glow that is going around her body. So I'm gonna click on my original layer, add a, um, add a solid color adjustment. We're gonna turn it to black. We're gonna come up to the top where it says normal. So click on the original, uh, the picture for the normal layer. And then we're gonna go ahead and select our subject. So use your quick selection, select subject. And we're going to contract our selection. So I'm gonna take my selection menu, come down to modify, contract, and I'm gonna contract it a pixel. So I'm gonna come in just slightly, a little bit on top of her body. Now I don't want her selected for this, which sounds odd, but we're gonna actually use the background. So I'm gonna invert or inverse my selection. So select inverse. And now the selection is actually around the picture rather than the person. I'm gonna grab my layer mask on the normal layer with my black turned on. And I'm just gonna simply use my brush and brush the black around her body. So I am cleaning up the edges, getting rid of that glow that is around her body. I'm not painting, I'm using a layer mask. go around. Again, I didn't do the best selection like you did when I was selecting her originally, so your selection should look a lot better than mine. I'm not going to erase the hair. I don't want to erase all that hard work that I did. Okay, Command D to deselect her. Turn off the black outline of the background. And now we are ready to officially get ready to put her in place for the pixel stretch. So I'm going to use my shift key to select all layers and I'm going to pick her up and move her over. Why am I moving her? I want this very dynamic stretch to happen after her body. So I wanna make sure that she is in position to have that uh, dynamic run going. Um, I also made sure to hold shift so that I moved everything at the same time. Okay, the pixel stretch is next in the video.